So in this video, I'll show you how to use a one-man pulley system for a background. Up here, we have the gantry bar that runs across with the ropes over to the side. Take off all your tape off your background paper. And then lay it on the floor. Undo the rope that lowers down the gantry bar. Bring it down to the floor, tie it off. Take the carabiner off the metal pipe. And then take that pipe over to where the background is and slide the background over the pipe. Bring the pipe back over to the carabiner. Clip it back on. And then you're going to want to get your sandbags ready. Sandbags will be used to hold the paper down once it's been rolled out. Bring the paper up to a comfortable height, tie it off again, and go over and pull the paper down. Now, if you pull it out to where I have it, like a four foot height, you can sort of measure out four feet by dragging it to the floor every single time. Measure it out to how much you think you need. This was the end of this roll, so that's all I had. Gently let it, the paper roll back to itself. Now you're going to want to get your A clamp and you need to clamp the core of the paper to the metal rod. Don't clamp just the paper to the core. Raise it up to a height that you need for your subject matter. Tie it off on the cleat. Unroll the paper. Get a nice curve going. And then put your sandbags down. You can use sandbags or you can use tape on the floor, but just make sure that you pull up all the residue tape. And then when you're done, just roll it back in reverse. Now you want to take the rope off the cleat and pull the paper down like this. Make sure you don't get any crimples or creases in the paper. And you can see here, I'm trying my best. I got a little tiny one there quickly. Then tie it off again. Undo your A-clamp. Go to the center of the paper. Go as tight as you can with the paper. You want to get that paper on the core as tight as possible. I give it a couple extra turns to really make sure that it's as tight as possible. You don't want it to have any gaps. You can go to either end as well and sort of finesse each end. Use the A-clamp to cinch it off and get your tape ready. And then tape it up. You can use elastic bands, you can use tape, whatever, whatever you please. I usually leave a little tail on the end of the tape just so that they're easy to peel off when you go to use it again. Take your carabiner off the end of the metal pole. Slide your paper off. And then always make sure that you store your paper vertically. Never store it horizontal.